Hi, this is Gunner, Gunsmoke Outdoors. Today I want to talk a little bit about the compass and the map. Uh, I'm going to be real basic here. Uh, you know, we, we have a GPS uh, that we can use. It's on our cell phones now. Uh, find your way around the woods, and, and they're pretty good. I've always been uh, a little bit old school, though. I like having the map and compass with me. Um, GPS, it works. I was one of the... Uh, in the beginning, I was buying the GPS when they came out the Magellan 315, if uh, anybody's that old. So uh, it would suck batteries down. I, I'd, I'd get in the woods, I'd put it on there, and um, when it finally found all of the satellites, um, it, it was good. It would show me where I was at. And uh, if I marked my truck before I left, uh, it would take me back. Um, but I always felt a little more confident if I had a, a map and a compass with me. So the map and the compass, um, you know, they can get pretty involved or they can be real basic. Today I'm just going to go over like real basic information. Uh, you get in the woods, you get turned around, how do I get in the right direction of where I want to go? So with that, I'm going to work a little bit. Uh, you'll see my hands in the map, the uh, compass and, and the ruler. Um, I will explain. I bring a little ruler with me, if you can see that. I usually carry that in my wallet, use it for all kind of things. But um, here we'll go right to the... This is a topographical map. Um, you can download these off the National Geographic site. You just put in the area that you want. Um, these were put together by the United States government. And there's, uh, like I said, a lot of information on there. Um, I like uh, carrying the maps with me, as I said before. Uh, anytime you're going into any uh, you know, woods you're not familiar with, you do want to have a map with you. You may even do a little bit of marking on it before you go in. And even if you're hunting in an area that you know, um, if it's a large area, you may want to take one with you anyhow. Uh, there, there's nothing like that uh, first panic that hits you when you get turned around and, and, and you lost your bearings for a little bit. So with that said, uh, I'm going to explain a, a, just a couple real basic things, uh, pieces of equipment that we have here uh, to keep it simple. So we have a compass and this is a base plate compass and, it, and you get that name because it has the base plate here. Uh, there's a lot of numbers on it, um, a lot of um, different markings, but basically what we're going to talk about are, are the cardinal points of the compass, which is your north, you can see the end, south, we have uh, the west and the east here, they're marked, they're kind of small on this. Um, and then you have your arrow here that's imprinted on the base plate, and that's your direction of uh, travel arrow. So real quick, this is a topographical map, and it's an aerial view of the topography that you are going to be hiking in or hunting in or fishing in. And there's a lot of information on this. Um, normally they come with uh, some, some kind of uh, detail at the bottom that will explain what all the symbols mean. Uh, but for this purpose here, we'll just talk about the, the double dashed lines. These are trails. They could be Jeep trails or uh, logging road trails. That's normally what you take into the woods. Uh, once you're in the woods, there'll be other logging trails or, or trail heads that uh, normally you'll park at and then you'll, you'll go in and you'll do your activity. There's also hash marks on the topographical map. There are little black hash marks um, on each side along the, along the sides and the top and the bottom. What I like to do is to connect some of these with some lines because um, these are your north-south lines and they're going to be very important when you're using the map in the woods. So for example, again we're going to be real basic here. I'm driving my vehicle along this dirt road, this logging road here, and I'm parking right here where this X is. There's a turnaround there and that's where we're going to enter the woods. And I decide I'm going to take a walk and I'm, I'm walking across this mountain down these ridges. There's a blue line you probably can't pick up. That's a little crick. Maybe I'm doing some fishing down there. 
And then all of a sudden I get over to this point here and it's getting to be around midday and I'm just thinking, well, I should go back. So how am I going to get back to my vehicle here? If you're not sure of the area where you're at, well, you're going to get out your compass and you're going to get out this map and you're going to orient the map to where you're standing at. And all that is, is orienting the north-south part of the compass with the north-south part of the map. These lines on the topographical map, the one that I drew, are always north-south. So with the base plate, you're now able to put that on that line there so it's perpendicular to it. And then what you want to do, you have your north line on there, north direction, and you're going to turn that map until this north-south line is oriented to your compass, north-south. So you can see north is almost directly behind me. So this is how you're standing on this mountain. And you want to get to your vehicle, which is this X here. And this is where my ruler comes in. Real easy. So now I'm going north-south. I'm going to line up where my vehicle is with the center of the compass. And I can look at the degrees along the basal. And I see I'm lined up at 210 degrees, which is this line. And you'd have to take a look at it. It might be a little hard to see on this camera here. But you're on this hash mark here of 210. You would rotate your basal to where the 210 hash mark is lined up with your direction of travel. So now all you have to do is pick up your compass and you would rotate that until the north end of the needle is pointing north and this is my direction of travel. So as I would hike back out of the woods I would keep my north end of the needle pointing north and I would follow this arrow and that well you could see here would take me to my vehicle so very easy GPS good to have follow up uh, if the battery dies though uh, again this is just real basic explanation of the compass and topographical map but that will get you in the right direction to where your vehicle is Worst comes to worst, you're a little bit off, you hit the road, but you're going in the right direction. So you could have some confidence in that. So later on, we'll do another video. We'll explain the topographical map, all the symbols on there, and all the information you can get. It's a lot of fun using these. Uh, it's a lot of fun with the GPS also. Um, but it's, it's kind of nice doing this more old school without depending on the technology if, uh, if, uh, if it wasn't working or if it was shut down or you had no batteries. This is Gunner signing off. Have a good day.